okay so the next point here is see here i have taken this body free body diagram of mass m1 here and this left body is separately taken here let us discuss what are the equations and how we are going to solve here okay so let us see what are the things we are going to discuss now so here the right side body's free body diagram is here left side body's free body diagram is here so how many forces are acting on this so let us take here downwards m1 into g in this direction normal reaction in this direction this is going to be angle theta 1 so here you can write it as m1 g cos theta 1 okay so in this direction what is going to act here it is m2 g sin theta 1 is acting here okay so uh, here in which in this direction what is going to act in this direction tension is acting okay tension is acting see this tension is t only because uh, there is only one single string here that's why tension is going to be t only uh, if there are two different strings okay then tensions can be different but only one single string is connected here that's why tension is going to be same here okay so next if you observe here uh, we doesn't know whether the block is going this way or this way whatever it may be uh, we doesn't know what is the direction of the block here understand but we know what are the masses given here okay so we shall discuss about that in details see here uh, let us consider here uh, the given masses are like this m1 will be equal to m2 will be equal to 2 kgs there are two masses whose uh, masses are going to be same here let us consider m1 and m2 both are having same masses here then uh, can you tell me uh, the block goes this side or this side now what is the final direction of the uh, block here by seeing these angles so what is theta 1 here theta 1 is going to be 53 degrees and theta 2 if you observe how much it is going to be theta 2 here so angle theta 1 it is uh, given as 50 3 degrees is theta 1 and what is theta 2 theta 2 is given as 37 degrees here okay so if if, if these are if these are the angles given here then what is the final equation we are going to get let us see here so if you observe in this way now you all you know that finally uh, this will be the direction or this will be the direction so here by seeing the angles you can judge easily that this angle is larger though see that means this uh, uh, this inclined plane is uh, having greater angle so definitely m1 will go down in this direction m1 will, be, m1 will move in this direction because angle theta 1 is larger compared to angle theta 2 so that's why this there is a chance that only this body will come down so with this we'll understand that acceleration direction here is a and here acceleration direction is here so i am taking this as an acceleration a here and this is m1 here okay so this is the final acceleration here both the forces are acting one is m2g sin theta 1 and this is tension t here but as the acceleration is in this way that means resultant force is also acting in this direction then what is the final equation here the final equation is the resultant force is the difference of these two as the block is uh, uh, moving in this direction because this is the larger angle here uh, therefore you can write it as mg uh, sin theta 1 this one is sin theta 1 and minus this is going to be tension t okay so here you can write uh, according to newton's uh, second law uh, what is this block here this is m1 so i have i have to take this as m1 only okay so therefore this can be written as m1 into a which is equal to m1 into g sin theta 1 minus tension t here let us imagine this is going to be equation number one so let us discuss what are the forces acting on this a block which is m2 here so it is clear that in downward direction m2g is always acting and in this direction normal reaction is acting and exactly in this direction this angle is going to be theta 2 here so what is going to act in this direction let us see so in this in this direction if you observe m2g m2g cos theta 2 is acting here because this is theta 2 this is theta 1 so this all become theta 1 here this is going to be theta 2 here then what happens in this direction m2 g sine theta 2 is acting here therefore in this direction we are going to consider tension here okay so now you know finally what is going to be the direction here the final direction in this case is this is going to skid down in this way so this is going to no no, no see here 
this is going to skid in this direction according to the problem here so it is moving like this therefore uh, as an acceleration is in this direction you can take a resultant force also in the same direction and with this you'll understand that even though both the forces are acting the block is going in this direction that means uh, t uh, dominates here t dominates m2g sin theta 2 okay so as this uh, direction t is dominating that's the reason why acceleration is in this way so you can write resultant force is equal to m2g sin uh, theta 2 here so t minus you can write like this t so t minus m2g because this is dominating uh, so t this is going to be t here t minus m2g or else you can write here t minus m2g sin theta 2 okay so uh, t minus m2g sin theta 2 is going to be the resultant force here so resultant force is going to be t minus m2g sin theta 2 then what is f2 uh, fr here so resultant force is nothing but m2 into a according to newton's second law here therefore we can write this as t minus m2g sin theta 2 you can consider this as an equation number 2 here so this is going to be the first equation okay and what is this going to be this is going to be the second equation okay so this is going to be the second equation here so with this what are you going to get our aim is to find out an acceleration so you are going to find out an acceleration by just adding 1 and 2 you can just add here add 1 and 2 so if you add these two equations uh, what are you going to get here this is m1 plus m2 into a that is you are getting at the lhs then what are you going to get at rhs t minus m2g sin theta 2 plus this is m1g sin theta 1 minus tension t okay so all these things you are going to see here okay so let us see what is going to happen here now if you observe this you will see that time tension tension is going to cancel here this tension and this tension is going to cancel here therefore acceleration a is going to become m1 uh, m1 m1 is plus so i am writing first m1 and this is sine theta 1 and this is going to be m2 g i am going to common out here this is going to be m2 sine theta 2 and g is common here so this m1 plus m2 i am writing here in the denominator so m1 plus m2 that's it so if this is a final acceleration here so as this is going to be the final acceleration what are you going to get let us see here now so this is the formula for acceleration so you just uh, find out the solution for this by substituting the values of theta and okay let us see what are you going to get now once you get an acceleration here you can uh, easily find out the things now now you can see here you have to find out what is an acceleration here uh, to find out an acceleration uh, what are the data given there in the problem so i have already told you that theta one is going to be 53 degrees and uh, theta 2 is uh, going to be uh, 37 degrees here okay so what else is given uh, let us see here uh, what is the mass masses are going to be same m1 will be equal to m2 that is taken as 2 kg that's it if this data if you substitute here definitely you are going to get an acceleration so acceleration is 2 sin theta 1 is sin 53 degrees minus what is m2 m2 is also 2 this is sin 37 degrees okay into g value so what is the value of g you can write 10 here then what else m1 plus m2 so what is m1 plus m2 2 plus 2 okay so therefore acceleration is going to become sin 53 how are you going to find out these values now so see here i am drawing one triangle this is a triangle here so if you draw a triangle simple triangle uh, then this is 37 degrees this is 53 degrees and this is 90 degrees and opposite to 37 you'll write 3 opposite to 53 you'll write 4 and this is going to be 5 here okay just you go on uh, substituting the values then you are going to get a answer here so 2 
sin 53 so what is sin 53 sin 53 is 4 by 5 so uh, sin 53 you can write directly 4 divided by 5 so 2 into 4 by 5 minus 2 sin 37 sin 37 is opposite side 3 and 5 so uh, 3 by 5 this combined together you can write it as multiplied by 10 this is going to be 4 here so therefore you can get an acceleration that is 8 by 5 minus 6 by 5 into 10 whole divided by 4 here so generally you get acceleration this is denominator is 5 in the numerator 8 minus 6 is going to be 2 and this is 10 whole divided by 4 so what are you going to get now acceleration is 2 into 10 that is 20 by 5 into this is 1 by 4 so 4 ones 4 fives so finally you're getting 1 meter per second square so 1 meter per second square you're getting an acceleration so once you get an acceleration can't you find out the tension here it's very simple to find out the tension this value of acceleration 1 meter per second square you can substitute either here uh, in the second equation or in the first equation which I have explained here so you can substitute in either of the two equations and get the answer let us let us see uh, I'm going to trying I'm trying to uh, substitute in the first equation here or second equation what it may be so let us take second equation here uh, in the second equation if you take tension and take these values to take this value to right side here if you observe here uh, I am writing the second equation directly m2 uh, m2 into a uh, t minus m2 into uh, g sine theta 2 okay so how are you going to find the tension now t will uh, keep one side so m2 will uh, come on out here uh, then after that uh, you can take uh, g into sin theta 2 plus a that's it okay so this is the formula for tension here this this value you have taken to left side that's it so therefore what is the value of m2 whatever it may be either it is m1 or m2 both masses are going to be 2 kgs as it is given here so therefore uh, g is going to be 10 here after that sin theta 2 what is the value of theta 2 here according to the problem that is 37 so sin 37 here is opposite side is 3 by 5 opposite by hypotenuse 3 by 5 so you can write 3 by 5 plus a so acceleration according to the problem solution here uh, we got this as 1 meters okay 1 meter per second square therefore tension is equal to this is 2 into 30 by 5 plus 1 here so with this 2 into this is 35 according to LCM divided by 5 here 5 ones 5 sevens so tension is going to be 14 here so 14 newtons is the final solution to the problem given here okay so this is the solution here this is the final solution to the problem which is given here i think it is clear okay i think you have understood this problem